हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी हाउ आर यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी हाउ आर यू I hope your preparation is going absolutely fine and today we are going to start very very interesting topic that is hydrostatic forces and it's very very important uh, in practical also it is very very important for exam point of view and this is the topic which will help you to understand the further topics so this is a very very essential topic my dear student friends so today you are not going to take any risk right because this topic exam point of view it is very very important uh, interview point of view it is very very important even if you want to get some good knowledge of uh, fluid mechanics then this is a very very essential topic not only this for further topics right further topics whatever buoyancy is there and you know uh, uh, that uh, fluid with, with relative equilibrium is there so in all those further topics also this topic is essential basically right so if you not understand this topic then it's very very difficult for you to understand the further topic so uh, i hope everyone is came here right so you know what is the culture of our our uh, our our uh, you know classes the culture is that whenever you are coming here then you have to wish to your faculty then you have to like the session then you have to like this and that is second step the third step is what is third step third step you have to share this session in your group so that the people who uh, you know forget about this session or who are not getting the link basically they will get the link okay so this is all about uh, session right let's uh, talk about myself many of you know about me but a few of me not know about me because they may be new in this platform so if you are new in this platform then uh, you just like this video and as well as subscribe also so that you will get notification for uh, upcoming fluid mechanics videos so myself shivam dikshit i did my mtech from nit calicut in thermal science and after that i got chance to work with india oil corporation limited rnd as automotive research officer from last 9 years i am guiding the gate and yes yes friends and uh, up to now i have guided more than 50000 students and many of my students have secured single digit and double digit rank okay so this is all about me but we are not interested on me right you are basically interested on hydrostatic forces basically in this one in this topic two things we have to study what is we have to study only and only two things we have to study one is hydrostatic forces on plane surfaces and hydrostatic surf uh, hydrostatic forces on curved surfaces right so these two things only we have to study in this particular chapter in this chapter is going to take two days today we will co cover the hydrostatic forces on plane surfaces and tomorrow we will cover the hydrostatic forces on curved surfaces okay so uh, before starting the session before starting the session i just want to ask you one information i just want to know some suggestions from you what is the suggestion basically you may know that uh, my uh, uh, plus course of fluid mechanics full course of fluid, fluid mechanics that in depth course of fluid mechanics is going to launch from 22nd one batch is there h batch vision h batch vision h batch so i am going to start that batch vision h batch and in this particular batch right uh whatever fluid mechanics part is there that i am going to start from 22nd so and that classes are from 8:15 onwards so obviously we need to change the timing for youtube students right so for all youtube students i want that what is the best suitable time other than this one because 7 to 8:30 is not possible now it is not possible because 8:15 onwards uh, i have class in plus so in my opinion uh, uh, how, what about 5 o'clock 5 to 5 pm to 6:30 pm how about this one right so uh, just comment the type uh, timing i we can personal also message me in uh, telegram you know telegram swan dikshit 63 and that group is there you can uh, uh, tell in group also even i am planning to uh, like take one poll so in that poll i will uh, tell you what to do okay this is clear beta everyone let me check that how okay my few of my favorite students are came 
that is uh, one of them are uh, balaji ajay very good 90 days 90 days for gate kab start ho raha hai very soon very soon beta actually this is the part of that only right ye ye jo main series chal raha hai whatever this series is then this series is going to merge with that course right so you can say that it is basically started but systematically it is going to start uh, soon because you know that you know uh, this gate academy and an academy is merged basically so some session was there right some uh, session was there that they uh, they the faculties who are from gate academy they need uh, our support miss an academy faculty support i knew only so how can i give the support basically but few of our senior teachers went to bhilai and they are giving proper training and whatever things are required so that uh, good quality teaching can be maintained properly okay so okay pushparat sahu aditya pati good evening balaji ji very good datta datta dharmodharan s adarsh okay great 530 is okay okay 530 is okay okay Okay, 5:30 also fine. We can plan 5:30 also. Lab रहता है sir. अरे lab कौन करता है यार? ये lab कौन कब से करने लग गए तुम? मुझे सब पता है. जब तुम्हारा lab होता है दत्ता, जब मैं क्या नहीं करूँ civil वालों का lab होता है तो अपना lab छोड़के computer lab के सामने खड़े रहते हैं. क्या करते रहते हैं मुझको समझ में नहीं आ रहा. ये कंप्यूटर लैब के सामने इसी के लैब के सामने पता नहीं क्या रहता लैब रहता बोल रहे पता नहीं कितना लैब कर रहे ये लोग वेरी गुड इवनिंग नवीन रोहिणी अजय पति राइट सो प्लीज लिजन हियर केयरफुली प्लीज लिजन हियर केयरफुली so who who ever is not like the session like it first first like it subscribe it whatever it is there do this do all the needfuls if you are not subscribe dear if you not like this session please like it because this is the entry fees you have to pay the entry fees by liking the session okay shall we start i request you all to put this link to your you know friends share with your friends okay now i am going to start finally okay see beta now now listen here carefully no here and there now next one and half hour we will only and only talk about the content dekho <coughs> as i told you earlier also suppose one solid is there that is contained in a particular container solid is contained in a particular container then there is no necessity that solid is applying some force on the wall okay uh, right suppose suppose this is there right suppose one container is there that container you are putting some solid so obviously at the bottom it will put some force it will put some force and pressure or whatever it may be right but uh, in the wall it is not necessary in wall it is exerting some pressure that is no necessity basically but fluid is going to exert pressure on the walls also that is a pascal's law basically that is a pascal law that fluid at any point is going to exert pressure in our transmitted pressure in all the direction that we already studied now whenever you are going to design any uh, device right any device or any system where fluid is there even though it is in stationary condition even though it is a stationary condition, but still it will exert some force on the wall it will exert some pressure on the wall correct na so we must know what is this pressure what is this force so that we can design it properly for example you can see in this pic right suppose this are in rooftop right one uh, swimming pool is there it is my home basically this is my swimming pool i used to uh, swim in this particular uh, swimming pool so this is basically in my rooftop only right it is in my home main jhoot bol raha hu okay sir kyun jhoot bol raha hai itna acha swimming pool aapke ghar mein kaise ho sakta hai kyun nahi ho sakta ha kyun nahi ho sakta ji 
right okay fine so basically you can see that this is a this is a, this is a swimming pool nahi hai mere ghar mein nahi main gareeb aadmi hu theek hai khush happy kyunki tum pata hai businessman ko ameer aadmi assume kar sakte ho right you can imagine that a businessman means he is a you know rich person uh, a, a, a government servant is there he is he may also be rich even though his salary is 60000 doesn't matter right that it doesn't matter you are thinking that he is a rich person because in government job and some right extra ka dijiye extra income is there something kind of so you can imagine but a teacher is a rich you are never able to imagine कि टीचर के भी इतना अच्छा सा स्विमिंग पूल हो सकता है उसके घर पे ओके सर कैन यू सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस ऑन एफएम वाइट फ्रैंक एम वाइट फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग दैट बुक इज नाइसेस्ट बुक दैट इज अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इट इज वन ऑफ द नाइसेस्ट बुक दैट इज अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट बट फॉर कॉन्सेप्ट पर्पज बेटा but that is for concepts purpose right so if you are not able to understand any concept definitely go and refer that book frank m white that is one of the best book i would say but question point of view i would i would not suggest you because uh, you are preparing for gate and esc not doing research or something right so for uh, gate and esc it may not be you know, uh, that much uh, uh, i would say that much relevant i would say right so it's better to go for k subramanya okay okay now please rk007 are ye to humne rajiv sir ka code hai i have doubt in fm white problems okay you can ask me if you are solving then fine you can ask me no problem at all right but i personally suggest that uh, solve k subramanya rather than white because concept wise is very very good but if you are preparing for gate or esc then there are very less chance that uh, and even though some questions are good but out of 10 maybe 3 4 5 are only relevant how you are going to judge that is a problem whereas in subramanya what you will get out of 10 question 8 to 9 questions are relevant for the gate right so it's better to go for that okay now now please listen here carefully so let's say this is a basically a swimming pool now in this swimming pool some water is there and that is a stationary water let's say that is a stationary water then also it is exerting some force or pressure on the walls if you don't know about that force if you don't know about that pressure so definitely you are going to do some mistake in during designing and it may collapse also it may collapse this is a plain surface now this wall is basically what a plain surface so you can see that you can see that suppose this is a wall right this is basically wall it is basically uh, mera right okay I, i will i will draw like this this is suppose one one of the wall this is basically one of this is basically one of the wall one of the wall i am going to draw here and then uh, then here here this fluid is going to exert some force or pressure it is going to exert some force or pressure clear beta right so it is basically exerting some force or the pressure so this force you must know if you don't know about this force you will do mistake and you can see that this wall is basically got a plain surface but in every structure it is not necessary that it is a plain structure only there may be chance of this one also you can see if you are going to design if you are going to design this particular uh, you know uh, tank right water tank right so you can see that this is basically what this is a curved surface right so in if suppose curved surface is there then how the force is going to be exerted because here force will come in this direction as well as vertical di direction also fluid will exert in all the direction na basically so here in vertical direction also force will be there so how to this you can this dam you can see this dam you can see this dam is also these dams you can see this this is a basically Uh, uh that opening is basically a plain uh, plain surface and here it is a curved surface what i'm trying to say there are many structures where water or fluid is contained and that water or fluid is basically exerting pressure on that plain surface or a curved surface so you must know that you must know that uh that that um, how to calculate the force exerted by the fluid on the plain surface as well as curved surface 
टूडे वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट फोर्स हाइड्रोस्टैटिक फोर्सेज ऑन प्लेन सर्फेसेस हाइड्रोस्टैटिक फोर्सेज ऑन प्लेन सर्फ अमरजीत अमरजीत वेरी गुड इवनिंग बेटा नो सर यू आर वेरी रिच सर है नहीं भैया माई गरीब रहता मेरा शादी हो गया सारा पैसा खर्च हो जाता सो वेरी फर्स्ट केस आई एम टेकिंग ईयर द फर्स्ट केस आई एम टेकिंग दैट इज हाइड्रोस्टैटिक फोर्सेज ऑन प्लेन सर्फेसेस and case one i am taking that is inclined surface let inclined surface means sir i did not understand okay no problem i am here let's say this is the free surface beta are chapak listen here listen here chapak this is a free surface beta right this is a free surface and uh, here basically we have a surface like this this is the surface basically right this is the surface right this is one particular body you can see this right and if i draw it the cross section then it will come something like this it may be it may be any random shape it may be something like this also it may be something like this right but i am drawing somewhat easy to uh, make you understand right to make you understand i am going to draw easy easy structure i am going to draw it may be anything better the shape may be anything and uh, this is basically okay this is the structure clear about any confusion no confusion okay let's say this is a uh, width b and this is d clear hai? this is d clear hai? any confusion tell me first tell me first okay now please 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 listen now this is making theta angle theta angle from from free surface this is making theta angle from free surface i would like to show you this chapak is any yet i would like to show you suppose this is a this is let's say a plate this is basically a plate right this is a plate now now uh, this i am showing like this if you see like this then you are seeing what one one line you are seeing right this is a line and the cross section is this one so same same like this because this is width b this is width b and this is d basically right okay so uh, this is a surface now now you can see that what is height here this height is let's say h1 this height is or x1 i am writing x1 this height is x1 if this height is x1 so at this particular point listen here chapak listen here chapak what is the pressure at this particular point the pressure is going to be rho g x1 what is pressure here pressure at this point is rho g x1 clear hai? so rho g x1 okay so i will draw and that will trans that will, that is going to be transmitted in all the direction so obviously in this direction also we are interested in normal direction here right so this is going to be this this value is how much this is rho g x1 that is a pressure this is a rho g x1 pressure correct now suppose this height is what x2 bolo x2 is more or x1 is more or x2 is more very simple so now here if you draw then you will get to know that uh, this is uh, rho g x2 and here you can see that in see ये है प्लेट राइट दिस इज अ प्लेट राइट सो यहां पे क्या फोर्स लग रहा है राइट दैट इज एंड दिस इज फ्री सरफेस राइट फ्री सरफेस सो फ्रॉम फ्री सरफेस टू दिस एंड इज बेसिकली एक्स1 डिस्टेंस हियर प्रेशर इज रो जी एक्स1 क्योंकि इसके ऊपर कम पानी है ना लेस वाटर इज देयर ऑब्वियसली हियर मोर वाटर इज देयर सो प्रेशर इज आल्सो गोइंग टू मोर रो जी एक्स2 सो हियर प्रेशर इज रो जी एक्स2 सो प्रेशर इज बेसिकली वेरिएंग फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर ऑब्वियसली इट इज गोइंग टू वेरी लीनियरली व्हाई बिकॉज़ रो जी एच एक्स and x is varying linearly so obviously pressure is also going to vary linearly only right so basically this is going to vary linearly now this diagram is called as pressure diagram this diagram is called as pressure diagram this diagram is called as what pressure diagram this diagram is called as pressure diagram okay now this is the center of gravity this is center of gravity clear hai? this is center of please listen here chapak सब लोग ध्यान से समझ लीजिए मैं गारंटी लेता हूं बेटा कि एवरी सिंगल क्वेश्चन यू लेवल टू सॉल्व इन योर लाइफ एवरी सिंगल वट एवर आई एम टीचिंग इफ यू थरोली अंडरस्टैंड इट यू विल एबल टू सॉल्व एवरी सिंगल प्रॉब्लम 
in your life okay now please listen here carefully dekho so obviously what what is your net force will be how much see this is the this is the pressure diagram if i look show you like this so here pressure is rho g x1 here pressure rho g x2 or pressure is varying right increasing continuously pressure is increasing continuously so if i consider if i take the net force the net force is f net net force is f net and that will definitely going to act बिलो सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी बिकॉज इस साइड प्रेशर ज्यादा है ना फोर्स ज्यादा है ना राइट यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो यू कैन सी दैट ऑब्वियसली द नेट फोर्स इज गोइंग टू एक्ट समवेयर हियर नेट फोर्स इज गोइंग टू एक्ट समवेयर हियर दिस इज एफ नेट दिस इज बेसिकली एफ नेट दैट ओनली वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट वट वी नीड टू फाइंड वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ नेट एंड वेयर इट विल एक्ट this distance is called as what h this distance is called as what h what is our interest beta what is our interest our interest is to find out what is the value of f net as well as where it is going to act means h value clear hai sabko abhi tak jitna bataya sab kuch clear hai rk007 दत्ता शिवाजी क्लियर दिस पॉइंट ओके सर सर हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट एफ नेट वैल्यू सर प्लीज डू द डेरिवेशन प्लीज डू द डेरिवेशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू द डेरिवेशन सर व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज अ शॉर्ट टर्म कोर्स अदरवाइज दिस कोर्स विल गो अप टू गेट एग्जाम If you want that I should cover more and more topics, then I'll suggest you I have to skip few things. So this is the thing which I am going to skip here. That how to calculate or how to find out the formula for F net. How to find out the formula for F net? Correct. Uh, that I am not going to. But if you want, if you are plus student, if you are plus student, then definitely I am going to do in plus class because. there is uh, 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 in that app basically more time is there more time here only one one and half hour only we can teach in one particular day so that's why that's why i am going to tell you directly f net but 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 i am going to tell you one formula that you have to remember that's it what is the formula that this f net by f net by width is equal to area of pressure diagram area of pressure diagram please listen here carefully agar ye nahi samjha to kuch bhi samajh mein nahi aayega maine kya bola whenever a plane surface is there this is this discussion is only for plane surfaces beta only for plane surface if any plane surface is there then then here pressure will be rho g x1 here pressure will be rho g x2 linearly going to be vary right so this diagram is called as pressure diagram the yellow color diagram this yellow color diagram is called as pressure diagram this diagram is called as pressure diagram and f net by width is nothing but equals to area of the pressure diagram so by this itself we can find out the formula how how please listen here carefully so now i am writing f net f net by width is how much width is b is equal to is equal to area of the pressure diagram so this area i am going to divide two parts one is this part this rectangle this is one rectangle i am going to draw okay this is one rectangle and another one this is a first rectangle i am writing rectangle what is the coordinate rho g x1 so this will come right rho g x1 into d rho g x1 into d this is the rectangle area the remaining is what this triangle remaining is what this triangle basically this triangle is remaining right so this triangle area will come half base into height base is d into height value will come how much that is the rho g x1 x2 minus rho g x1 so i can write here rho g x2 minus x1 are clear hai jab clear hai okay 
now i can write here f net by width b is equal to f net by width b is equal to now i can d is going to be common only so uh, rho g is also common rho g is common d is common what is remaining beta what is remaining here here remaining is x1 plus 1 by 2 x2 minus 1 by 2 x1 correct now now please listen here carefully actually to make these calculations easy i taken rectangular shape but it may be anything else if it is a some random shape then you have to integrate you know how to calculate the area by integration and that much mathematics you must know yaar okay now please listen here so basically i can write f net is equal to rho g kya hota hai specific weight w rho g kya hota hai specific weight w b into d i can write b into d b into d here it is x1 and this half x1 so basically you will get a uh, x1 plus x2 by 2 x1 plus x2 by 2 b into d is area of the plate area of the plate x1 plus x2 by 2 dekho sir x1 ye distance hai this is x1 and this is x2 and half x1 plus x2 by 2 will basically come x bar x bar means this is distance is x bar so this is basically what x bar clear so now what you are getting f net value is w a x bar only two things we have to remember chappa only two things we have this is not depend upon the angle first very important point this is not depend upon the theta now only you have to remember two things two things two things right what is two uh, two things for plane surface for plane surface f net by b f net by width is equal to area of the pressure diagram area of the pressure diagram this is the first formula that we have to remember main directly bata raha hu even though if i give you the derivation derivation is possible i will do that derivation but even though i will do the derivation after that also you have to remember this result you have to remember this result right so just remember for time being and if you are plus student then surely you have to come right and i will teach that part so and another one you have to remember that f net is equal to w a x bar w a x bar clear beta if anyone have any confusion let me know abhi tak samajh mein aaya to boliye abhi tak samajh mein aaya to sab log aise aise kar do kuch dil dil bana do kuch phaar phaar laga do very good very good datta bala ji adarsh अजय पाती क्लियर आदर्श वेरी गुड पुष्पराज यस अमरजीत यस वेरी गुड क्लियर नाउ प्लीज लिजन यर सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट टास्क इज डन द सेकेंड टास्क इज वॉट सेकेंड टास्क इज टू फाइंड आउट सो दिस इज बेसिकली प्रेशर डायग्राम इज वॉट दिस इज इन दिस पॉइंट यू कैन नोट डाउन दैट प्रेशर डायग्राम इज द graphical representation of variation of intensity of pressure on the plane surface वो जो बनाया था हम लोगों ने clear hai okay now uh next one is center of pressure what is the center of pressure it is a point at which the hydrostatic force supposed to be acting supposed to ki be acting dekho ye jo h humne banana ye point this point this point is basically called as center of pressure this point is basically called as center of pressure correct now center of this is the point which is basically called as what center of pressure and this is h distance from the top this is basically what h distance from the top right so ye h distance pe hai so this h we need to find out what is this value of h that we need to find out okay great great h nikalna hai wo kya nikalna hai center now to find out h value we have to use a principle of momentum right principle but i am not going to do that derivation again integration and all lot of things are basically required so uh, if you want to learn that how this formula basically came then you have to come to the plus or maybe after gate i will start one another uh, you know fluid mechanics session of full course so in full course i'll cover for time being i'm just giving you the direct formula direct formula so this h is equal to what basically h is equal to x bar plus आई जी साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई ए एक्स बार सो दिस फॉर्मुला बेसिकली यू हैव टू रिमेंबर बेटा 
this formula you have to remember any confusion clear beta so this formula basically you have to remember clear hai any confusion tell me i hope there is no confusion at all so basically i can conclude that things i am going to conclude that things right suppose this is a free surface please listen here and here any 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 plate is there any plate whatever cross section it may have and this is a theta angle basically so here force net force here force is net force is going to act below center of gravity this is what basically x bar this is x bar please listen here carefully अगर आप नहीं समझ पाएंगे तो बहुत दिक्कत हो जाएगी मैडम बहुत दिक्कत होने वाला है मेरे साथ ऑलरेडी बहुत दिक्कत चल रहा है क्योंकि मेरा शादी हो चुका है ठीक है ये हमारा है एफ नेट एफ नेट और ये एक्ट कहां करेगा ये एक्ट करेगा एच डिस्टेंस पे सो ये पॉइंट जो है ये है सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर और ये पॉइंट है सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी नाउ इफ सच कंडीशन इज देयर देन देन द एफ नेट वैल्यू इज सिंपली यू हैव टू राइट डब्ल्यू ए एक्स बार नथिंग इज डोंट थिंक मच व्हाट एवर एरिया इट मे बी सर्कुलर प्लेट हाफ सेमी सर्कुलर रैंडम एनी रैंडम शेप जस्ट कैलकुलेट एरिया वैल्यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट एक्स बार वैल्यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट रोजी रोजी यू ऑलरेडी नो so that is f net and where it is going to act it is going to act h is equal to that is obviously it is more than x bar now this is x bar obviously it is going to be more than x bar so x bar plus ig sin square theta by a x bar clear hai so this is the center of pressure only this thing you have to remember clear hai any confusion up to here kisi ko confusion hai to bol do किसी को कोई भी कंफ्यूजन है तो प्लीज बोल दीजिए किसी को कोई भी कंफ्यूजन है तो बोल दीजिए इफ यू हैव नॉट लाइक द सेशन लाइक नाउ चंपक हसन कलाम कलाम notation meaning sir which notation you are you want to know which notation you want to know bhaiya kalam ji today you are late here x bar is x bar you want to know are a is area w is specific weight rho ji means actually right and x bar is the distance distance from center of gravity to free surface theta is angle of inclination ig is moment of inertia मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट सेंट्रोइडल एक्सिस आईजी आईजी क्या अरे आईजी तो सॉन्ग नहीं पढ़ा क्या बीट कलम कलम स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल नॉट ओवर येट हैव नॉट स्टडी स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल अरे देयर इज डेडिकेटेड चैप्टर फॉर दिस देयर इज वन चैप्टर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया कलम have you not studied strength of material yet beta i g is moment of inertia about centroidal axis clear hai any confusion anyone shall i move further jaldi bolo are wo i g kaise nikalte main standard values i'll tell you beta Standard value I'll tell you wait. 
Kalam, don't worry. Standard values, I will tell you. Standard value of I, G, X bar, sign, area, standard values, I will tell you. Okay, now. Now, if suppose horizontal surface is there, right? If suppose it is surface is something like this. If surface is something like this, means if I show you in the diagram, then it will be something like this. Suppose our plate is something like this. Suppose our plate is something like this. Please listen here carefully. So obviously this is what this is center of gravity, right? And uh, everywhere same x is there. This is only x bar, no? So everywhere same x is there. So basically it will come like same. This is a pressure diagram, green color. Green color, this is a pressure diagram, beta. So, net force is going to act where? Where net go force is going to act? Net force is obviously going to act at here itself. You see? What is the amount F net value? F net is equal to W A X bar. Whether it is inclined, horizontal, vertical, whatever it may be, it will be always W A X bar. See, if it is an inclined, X bar will be different. If it is a you know, horizontal, X bar will be different. If it is vertical, X bar will be different. But formula will not change. X bar will change as per the you know, orientation, but formula will not change. So it is always W A X bar only. And here H value will come how much better? H value will come X bar plus IG sin square theta by AX bar. Now what is theta value? Here theta value is basically zero. Basically here theta are the same case here. The, in this case, if theta value will become zero, if theta value will become zero, then plate will be horizontal. Nah? If theta value will be zero, then plate will be horizontal. That is the only case. So that's why here theta value will be basically zero. Theta value will be basically zero. So put this theta value here. Sine zero is zero. So basically H value will come X bar. That you can see from the diagram also. That you can see from the diagram also. Clear? That is plane horizontal surface. Let's come to the plane vertical surface. Plane vertical surface. Abhi dekho. Let's say uh, this is a free surface, okay? And this is a vertical surface. So this is basically center of pressure Z. Now this is X bar. But if I draw the pressure diagram beta, if I draw the pressure diagram, then it will come something like this. So obviously, in below center of gravity, below center of gravity, the pressure is more basically. So obviously, if I calculate F net value, it will come somewhere here. F net and this is a center of pressure center of pressure and what is this value this is H so what is F net value F net value same W A X bar only W A X bar only but H value will come X bar plus I G sine square theta by A X bar. Now theta value will be 90 degree. Theta will be 90 means sine theta will be 1. So H value will come X bar plus I G by A X bar. Clear eh? Any confusion? Now please listen here carefully. Please listen here carefully. If suppose the depth is very very high. Suppose vertical plate is there. That plate is keep on going downwards. So what will happen? X bar value is increasing. 
when x bar value is increasing see please listen here carefully this is the point i am telling this is very very important sometime they will simply say one one time question where was already came in that they will say that uh, the height of emergence is very very high it means that you have to neglect this part how please is any here suppose if this plate is keep on like going downward 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 to then what will happen x bar values keep on increasing if x bar value increases this term is increasing but this term is decreasing listen here if if in case the vertical surface center of pressure is almost equal to center of gravity if the depth of immersion is so large depth of immersion is so large that means x bar value keep on increasing this value will decrease so this can be neglected and in that case basically h value will come x bar h value will come x bar if if depth of immersion is very very high ye point kitne logo ko samajh mein nahi aaya how many of you understand this point how many of you did not understand this point tell me kitne logo ko samajh mein nahi aaya देखो कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर गोइंग टू बी टफर एंड टफर एंड टफर डे बाय डे अगर तुम डर गए तो मर गए आई एम टेलिंग यू इट्स वेरी सिंपल थिंग डरो मत यार नोट्स बनाओ प्रॉपरली और एकदम जम के मेहनत करो जम के कितने लोग को समझ में आया टेल मी टेल मी भैया If everyone is understand this point, if any confusion, let me know. Kalam, very good. Kalam is saying okay. Now let's move the center of pressure for rectangular surf uh, rectangular coinciding with the free surface. Please listen here carefully. in few standard cases are there that i am going to discuss right because like kalam is said na like kalam is said sir uh, uh, what is this ig i did not study strength of material yet so what to do so some standard cases are there two three standard cases are there actually if you are talking about gate point of view then only two or maximum three only you have to remember three cases only you have to remember right so the first case is beta what first case is center of pressure for rectangular surface coinciding with the free surface okay please listen here suppose this is a free surface right and here one surface is there vertical surface that is a vertical surface and coinciding with the free surface so let's say it is something like this is a vertical one okay If I show you the cross section now, then it will come something like this. Clear, Mada? Now this is let's say B, and this is let's say D. Please listen here. Please. make your proper notes now g will come somewhere here center of gravity will come somewhere here obviously center of gravity is come at d by 2 d by 2 coinciding with the free surface so this will come at a d by 2 so this is nothing but what x bar this is what basically x bar but uh, but f net is going to act somewhere here right f net is going to act somewhere here f net and uh, this is basically what h distance now that h value basically we need to find out here okay in this particular case you understand suppose this is a plain surface right and it is in the water but but the top most surface is coinciding with the free surface top most is coinciding with the free surface so obviously half will be center of pressure but uh, more pressure will act in this side right basically right so that's why f net value clear hai now listen here carefully sab log dhyan se sunenge sab log bahut hi dhyan se sunenge yahan pe x bar ka value kya hai x bar ka value hai d by 2 x bar ka value kya hai d by 2 now area kya aayega yahan pe area aa jayega b into d what is the area basically b by uh, b into d 
Now, if I calculate IG, centroidal axis, right? Suppose this axis, okay. About this axis, if I calculate IG, moment of inertia, right? Then this value will come how much? For rectangular surface, we already studied BD cube by 12. BD cube by 12. So this value is going to come like BD cube by 12. Any confusion? Tell me. Any confusion? Now just put these values in formula. H is equal to what? X bar plus ig vertical surface so th th theta value will be theta value will be 90 so sin theta will not come that is a x bar now just put the value so d by 2 plus ig ig means uh, b d cube by 12 divided by area that is b into d x bar is d by 2 so this b is this b cancel a uh, 2d cancel so 1d is remaining and uh, then how much it will be? Kitna hai so calculate kor bhai. Please calculate. Hello, Trilochan said. Are Trilochan said Ketao? Trilochan, how are you? Tell me what is value coming here. Are just solve this by IG must be taken about X axis, sir. No. Ig must be uh, about the centroidal axis, right? Ig must be taken about the centroidal axis, clear? Eh? And that is going to be centroidal axis may be more. So it and that centroidal axis which is parallel to the free surface, which is parallel to the free surface, clear? Eh? So don't remember like it is a x axis. It's better to remember like a centroidal axis which is parallel to the parallel to the free surface generally it is x uh, x axis that is fine study again ah bd bd by 36 aa raha kya h value kya aa raha b to cancel ho chuka hai b is already cancelled study again 2.0 kalam tell me answer Two d by three, yes. So h value will come two d by three. I want the answer from all of you, my dear student friends. Clear, eh? Raghunandan Prashad, Govardhan Prashad, Vakaule. Kaisa naam hai ji? Two d by three. Very good, Datta. Very good, Datta. Arey bhai. In plane surface, only two things you have to remember, beta. Only two, th three things you have to remember. First thing, force by width is equal to area of the pressure diagram. Second, F is equal to W A X bar. All the cases. Okay. Third, third, H is equal to X bar plus I G sine square theta by A X bar. Right. In horizontal case, theta will be zero. In vertical case, theta will be ninety. And then for rectangular surface, IG is BD cube by 12. Clear, eh? Shall I move further, Raghunandan? G beta. Rank lana hai tumko nahi lana, pahle bata do tum. Eh? Rank lana ke liye pad ho na? मुझे इतना जुखाम है, right? Then also कल भी ऐसी वजह से मेरा तबीयत खराब था। That's the reason class थोड़ा हटाना पड़ गया। आज भी मेरा तबीयत बहुत अच्छा नहीं था। फिर भी मैंने कहा यार तुम लोग का टाइम ज़्यादा वेस्ट हो जाएगा। मुझे जिस टाइम तक खत्म करना है फिर प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा। तो मैं आया। तुम लोग इफ़र्ट नहीं दे रहे। कुछ और सरफेसेस बता दूं क्या? अच्छा वन मोर सरफेस आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वन मोर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट एच वैल्यू फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इट इज अ फ्री सरफेस एंड वन रेक्टैंगुलर सॉरी नॉट रेक्टैंगुलर वन अ सर्कुलर प्लेट ऑफ डायमीटर डी
tell me what is the h value plate is look like this one only right from this side if you see it will be some front wide view will be something like this ab isko gol cut kar do bhai abhi gol kabhi cut nahi kiya gaya itna bhi nahi samajh mein aa raha tha mujhe main kya hai bhagwan गोल कट करना नहीं आ रहा इनको क्या होगा शादी करोगे बहुत मारे जाओगे भगवान बीबी बहुत मारे के इनको गोल गोल कट करना नहीं आता है बीबी बहुत मारे गए ये देखो गोल एग्जैक्टली गोल नहीं है आ, मैं रोटी बहुत गोल बनाता हूँ रोटी बहुत गोल बनाता हूँ लेकिन ये इतना गोल नहीं आया कोई बात नहीं इसको मान लो तो जब ऐसे देखोगे तब तो क्या दिखेगा एक लाइन दिखेगा ना फ्रॉम दिस साइड क्रॉस सेक्शन इज दिस साइड देखो ये स्टडी गेम का अलग चल रहा है ये झंडे बना रहे हैं हम्म इनकी हंसी निकली जा रही है बेटा शादी के बाद एक भी हंसी नहीं निकलेगी तब हमको फोन करते फिरोगे आज हम हमारी वैल्यू नहीं समझ में आ रही तुमको शादी हो जाएगी ना बीस बार फोन करोगे सर कैसे खुश रहे हैं? कैसे खुश रहे हैं सर बताइए बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है भैया बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है फाइव डी बाई एट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड आदर्श वेरी गुड कलाम सर अरे तुमने नाम ऐसा लिख लिया कि हमें रिस्पेक्ट जाग जाती है देख के मतलब सुन के तो कलाम सर मेरी क्लास में पढ़ रहे हैं कितना अवो भाग गया है मेरा मैं धन्य हो गया इतना धन्य तो नासा वाले नहीं हुए होंगे वो भी चाहते थे कि ये आदमी यहाँ आके काम करे फिर भी नहीं हुआ अब बताओ <laughs> कलाम सर के नाम से आईडी बना के आ गए बताओ क्या सो दिस इज बेसिकली डी बाई टू दैट इज एक्स बार नाउ आई एम गुड डायरेक्टली आई एम गुड राइट वैल्यू एच इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इट विल बी डी बाई टू एक्स बार एक्स बार प्लस आई जी आई जी क्या होता है पाई डी टू द पावर फोर पाई डी टू द पावर फोर बाई सिक्सटी फोर दिस आई जी पाई डी टू द पावर फोर बाई सिक्सटी फोर क्लियर है आई जी उसके बाद क्या है बाई ए एक्स बाई ए एरिया इज पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर इन टू एक्स बार दैट इज वन बाई डी बाई टू यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट कितना आया था फाइव डी बाई एट ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड आदर्श क्लियर है ये दो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ट्राइंगल भी कर लोगे तो अच्छा रहेगा ठीक है लास्ट में बता दूंगा ट्राइंगल कर अरे यार मेरा मोबाइल स्विच ऑफ हो गया ओके टू थ्री मिनट्स आई विल नॉट एबल टू सी योर कमेंट्स मेरा मोबाइल स्विच ऑफ हो गया टू थ्री मिनट्स आई विल नॉट एबल टू सी योर कमेंट्स ओके नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम नाउ आई विल सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम नाउ आई विल सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम अच्छा यही कर दो ट्रायंगल वाला केस कर दो ट्रायंगल के दो केस बनते हैं ट्रायंगल वाला केस कर दो बेटा सब लोग करके रखो जल्दी करो 
डू इट फास्ट Do it fast, beta. So if you calculate in this case, it will come h is equal to d by two. Check whether I am correct or I am wrong. Whether I am correct or I am wrong. I think three d by four. Check whether I am correct or wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe I am wrong. You just check it. These are the standard cases that you need to remember. I'm going to mobile open it. I'm going to open it. हो गया डन लेट सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ए वर्टिकल गेट है देखो ये गेट है दिस इज अ गेट ए वर्टिकल गेट ये तो डैम जो होता है ना डैम डैम में तुमने देखा होगा अभी डैम का फोटो मैंने दिखाया था इधर देखो ये ये डैम है ना ये डैम तो ये जो पानी जहां से आ रहा है ना यहाँ पे गेट होते हैं ऐसे इस टाइप का इस टाइप का ऐसे गेट होता है राइट और उसको हम लोग ऐसे ऐसे करके ऐसे ऐसे करके ऐसे करके एक वो लगा होता है स्क्रू टाइप का ऐसा कुछ लगा होता है इसको क्या करते हैं ऊपर भी कर सकते हैं ऐसे ऐसे से घुमा घुमा के घुमा घुमा के घुमा घुमा के ऊपर कर सकते हैं घुमा घुमा के घुमा घुमा के नीचे कर सकते हैं सो ये बेसिकली वही एग्जाम्पल है और इसके क्या होता है कि जो पानी निकल रहा होता है इसके जस्ट ऊपर से निकल जब हमें बंद करना होता है तो तो हमको ये लेवल्स के बराबर लाना होता है मिनिमम दैट इज अ मिनिमम कंडीशन सो अगर वाटर का लेवल ये है तो पानी फिर इधर नहीं जाएगा वाटर लेवल से ऊपर है तभी पानी जाएगा ठीक है वही प्रॉब्लम है सो द वर्टिकल गेट सिक्स क्रॉस सिक्स मीटर स्क्वायर होल्ड वाटर ऑन वन साइड ओनली वन साइड वाटर इज देयर एंड फ्री सर्फेस एट द स्टॉप Find the moment about the bottom edge of the gate due to water force. Okay, so we have to find out the moment about this particular edge, this bottom edge. So first to cap to find out the moment, what we need to do, we must know that what is this F value. We must know what is this F value or where it is going to act. What is this F value and where it is going to act? Let me open this. Let me open your. तुम लोग कुछ कर नहीं रहे भैया. Yes, 3D by 4 आएगा second case मैंने क्या लिखा बेटा? 3D by 3D by 4 ही तो लिखा कलाम. सर लाइन कैसे करूं तो सॉल्व करो कलाम आदर्श दत्ता स्टडी गेन पुष्पराज अरे पुष्पराज झुकेगा नहीं 
मेरा बी एड देख रहे हो मेरा बी एड देख रहा एक महीने बाद नेक्स्ट जब फील्ड में गया इसके बाद थर्मो डाइन में छुड़ा होना तब मेरा बी एड देखना तुम लोग सॉलिड फास्ट सॉलिड फास्ट बेटा आई वॉन्ट एंसर फ्रॉम यू आई वॉन्ट एंसर फ्रॉम होम यू जल्दी आंसर करो जी पहले तो एफ कैलकुलेट करो एफ कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एफ वैल्यू एफ इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एक्स बार दत्ता डब्ल्यू इज रोजी रोजी एच इज फोर ओके लेट सी सो डब्ल्यू इज टेन टू द पावर थ्री इंटू जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन राइट पहले मैं रोजी डब्ल्यू ही रखता हूं देन लेटर आई विल चेंज ओके आई एम पुटिंग इन डब्ल्यू ओनली डब्ल्यू ए वैल्यू इज सिक्स क्रॉस सिक्स एक्स बार वैल्यू इज थ्री सो दिस वैल्यू विल कम हाउ मच वन जीरो एट डब्ल्यू वन वन जीरो एट डब्ल्यू राइट नाउ आई विल कैलकुलेट एच वैल्यू एच वैल्यू विल कम एक्स बार प्लस आई जी बाई ए एक्स बार सो दिस वैल्यू विल कम थ्री एक्स बार वैल्यू इज थ्री ना प्लस बी डी क्यू बाई ट्वेल्व बी इज सिक्स क्यू बाई ट्वेल्व एरिया सिक्स क्रॉस सिक्स To x bar three. Just solve this. Four meter. Means it is going to act at a four meter. This is four meter. Now what they are asking? They are asking moment about so from here you can see that very very simple f f into this distance when i am calculating moment about this point means this distance we have to take that is that value is 6 this will 2 meter this value will come f into 2 so this value will come a uh, 216 w please answer w value also you can that w value is 10 to the power 3 into 9.81 Final answer you can tell me. Two point one one into ten to the power six. Okay. Two point one one into ten to the power six newton meter. Solid fast. This type of question you may expect in gate exam. क्लियर है सारे लोग सॉल्व करो जल्दी पेन कॉपी तो लेके बैठते नहीं हो बस चलो भंडारा हो रहा है सराएंगे कुछ तो बोलेंगे कुछ तो सुनेंगे हम भी सुनेंगे मजे करेंगे मजे मत करो भैया जिंदगी मजे लेगी ना तो फिर मजे नहीं कर पाओगे बी सीरियस अबाउट योर स्टडीज बोलिए क्लियर है निखिल रानी जी कला शैल आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ओके रीड दिस प्रॉब्लम एवरी वन रीड दिस प्रॉब्लम This is a rank deciding problem. Mass of the gate is given 500 kg.
ए वर्टिकल गेट ऑफ 2.5 मीटर वाइड ये गेट है ये दिस इज वॉट गेट ये गेट है दिस इज ए सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर हेड इन पोजिशन ड्यू टू हॉर्जेंटल फोर्स ना ऑब्वियसली दिस साइड वन हॉर्जेंटल फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन द गेट दैट्स वाई इट इज इन कॉन्टैक्ट as soon as you, when the water level drop down to 2 meter the bottom here the bottom at the gate the gate just started sliding just started sliding at 2 meter 2 meter pe just slide hona start hota hai then find the coefficient of friction between the gate and supporting structure मास ऑफ द गेट इज 500 हंड्रेड के जी जस्ट रीड इट जस्ट सोचो थोड़ा सा मैं इसको एक्सप्लेन करूंगा जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट देखो अब मैं कुछ बताने वाला हूं ये ध्यान से सुनेंगे ये क्वेश्चन इतना आसान नहीं जितना आपको लग रहा है ये मेरा हाथ क्या है वट इज दिस वट इज दिस इज अपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज वॉट सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज वॉट सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर ये क्या है सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज अ गेट गेट और सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर क्या है अटैच है बट इट्स नॉट लाइक स्क्रू टाइट और नथिंग राइट इफ यू लीव इट इट विल गो डाउन इफ यू लीव इट इट विल गो नाउ दिस साइड व्हाट वी हैव दिस साइड वी हैव फ्लूइड दिस साइड फ्लूइड इज एक्सर्टिंग सम प्रेशर ऑन दिस फ्लूइड इज एक्सर्टिंग दैट अ फ्लूइड इज एक्सर्टिंग सम प्रेशर बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस प्रेशर इट इज अटैच्ड If water level is keep on decreasing, then this force will also decrease. This force will also decrease. When this force will decrease, then after a limit, it will start sliding. You can see that. See the slide over. Understand? Yeah. Question. Understand? Question. Ko samjho. What is exactly this question is? See? Question. Ab. It is supporting structure. This is a gate, and gate have mg in this direction. If mg is there, so obviously it wants to go down. Mg wants because our mg is want to go down. But when I'm up, applying force like this, ये तो mg को balance नहीं कर रहा. This is not balancing mg because this is a vertical force and uh, it is acting like this. देखो, mg is acting like this, downward direction, and force uh, fluid is applying force like this. so obviously this force is not going to compensate this but because of this normal force when friction force is acting here friction force right now what is friction force friction force f is equal to f into r r is what basically r is or here i can add okay uh, okay r is nothing but this force fluid force r is nothing but fluid force clear right so if you keep on decreasing this r suppose water level is decreasing because if water level will decrease then x bar will decrease x bar will decrease then f is equal to w a x bar so f will also decrease if f will decrease then after some time what will it will start sliding it will start up sliding because so when it will about to slide about to slide when mg and this uh, friction force is going to be equal mg and friction force is going to be this is our fr i'm writing this i'm writing capital f so basically at sliding when it is at 2 meter height then it is about to slide about to slide means about to slide means fr means whatever fr this side this fr this is rank deciding question fr And mg is going to be equal. Fr and mg is going to be equal. Fr is equal to mg. Fr is equal to mg at sliding condition. At sliding condition. And fr is what? Fr is basically f into capital F. F is a hydrostatic force is equal to mg. M is known 500. G is known 9.81. F you calculate. You calculate this W A X bar. then you can calculate f the most easiest problem but seems like very very difficult i want answer from you
कलाम यू आर माय फेवरेट स्टूडेंट यू आर माय फेवरेट स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट एफ वैल्यू फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट एफ वैल्यू एफ इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू ए एक्स बार 10 to the power 3 into 9.81 into area कितना है 2.5 meter wide wide uh, 2 meter so 2 by 2.5 2 by 2.5 2 into 2.5 अरे water तो 2 तक ही है ना 2 into 2 by 5 And W A W A X bar X bar is the uh, if suppose it is two to from free surface it will be one so this value will come how much sorry this value will come five into ten to the power कितना है three three g in terms of g actually I have <coughs> sorry Now put this F value here. G G will be cancelled out. Don't worry. Friction force into F value. How much? That is five into ten to the power ten to the power three G is equal to m is five hundred into G. G G cancelled out. F value will come point one. You people are the most talented people in the whole universe. Harshraj Singh, you are late. Harshraj Singh, you are late. Some very good number of problems we already did. Even we have discussed one very good concept. Clear, eh? Everyone, everyone, किसी को problem है इस question में? If anyone is not able to understand anything, please let me know. If anyone is not able to understand anything, please let me know. Datta, Kalam, Adarsh, yes, correct, beta. Pushpara, Pushpara, bhag gayi tum? Answer kyun hai de rahi tum? Study again. Okay, let's uh, move to the next problem. A semi-circular plate. Now this is a semi-circular plate, plate, beta. So gate shape is what semi-circular. This is the gate. This is the basically gate, right? This is basically gate, and it is hinged at this particular point. it is hinged here it is hinged here and the shape is hemi uh, like semi circular so a semi circular gate hinge at point o this is point o is held at the place a by a horizontal force so i am applying here one horizontal force p i am applying one horizontal force p required equilibrium for semi circular plate the distance of the center of gravity from the straight now this value is directly given x bar value this is x bar x bar is directly given here the moment of inertia ig value is also given i ig will if c If suppose it is a circular or rectangular or triangular, then they will not give you I, this I G value, X bar value. But for all other cases, mostly they will give you. So they go there. This is let's say one wall. This one is let's say one wall. Let's say this is a wall, right? This is one wall. This is one wall. And below this wall, one gate is there like this, and it is hinged here. Now here. Water force is acting. Water force. But if if suppose here no force is there, it will move down, na. But it is not moving down. Why? 
because here one support is there that P force. I am applying here P force. So what they are asking calculate the force required. P force we have to find out. What is the value of P? What is the value of P? What is the value of P? सॉल्व करो जल्दी सॉलिड फास्ट आई वॉन्ट एंसर फ्रॉम यू आई वॉन्ट एंसर फ्रॉम यू बहुत सारे लोग बोलते हैं अरे सर जल्दी जल्दी आंसर बता दो आप जल्दी नोटबुक में लिख लें फिर पढ़ लेंगे नेक्स्ट ईयर फर्स्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व बाई योर ऑन फर्स्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व बाई योर ऑन टोटल डिस्टेंस इज टेन मीटर बट दिस इज नॉट डायरेक्टली एक्स बार दिस इज फॉर ओनली गेट पार्ट दिस इज ओनली फॉर गेट पार्ट Suppose center of gravity is uh, somewhere here, for example, this is G. So G value, x bar value will come. Our total distance is 10. Total distance is 10. If we minus 4 r by 4 r by 3 pi from the straight edge, they are asking center of gravity from straight edge. Okay. So this value will come minus 4 r by 3 pi. R value is how much? 4 meter. R value is 4 meter. So this value is 4. So x bar value will come I think 8.3 meter. Check. Check beta. X bar value. X bar is 26 r by 3 pi. Yes. Aditya correct. Aditya 100% correct. Now calculate F value. Now calculate F value. F is equal to W A X bar. Calculate W A X bar. X bar already calculated area value. Pi by 4. Pi r square by 2. So half and a semicircular. So this value will come 2047 kilo newton. Check. Check and tell me. F value tell me everyone is it correct or whatever value I wrote that is correct or wrong. Correct or wrong beta. Two zero four seven kilo newton are I. Now calculate H value. Now calculate H value. Calculate H value. I don't know. H value will come X bar plus IG by AX bar. Vertical and X bar plus IG by AX bar. So this value will come 8.43. X bar value was how much? 8.3 and F is going to act at 8.43 meter. 
Now, if it is in balance condition, Now put here, I'm writing here. Sigma M moment about O is equal to zero. Because abhi vertical and P force we are applying. So about O, about O this distance will be how much? 10 minus H, 10 minus H. So this value will come F into 1.56 is equal to p into 4 so p value will come 800 kilo newton p value will come 800 kilo newton clear hai? p value will come 800 kilo newton clear hai? Eight hundred kilometer clear hai. Okay, so uh, for today we'll stop here because मेरा भी तबीयत बहुत अच्छा नहीं है. अभी दवा लिया था मैं. Uh, afternoon में थोड़ा fever भी आया और जुखाम भी बहुत ज़्यादा है. So today we'll stop here. Tomorrow this topic will be over. Tomorrow we'll discuss about the curved surfaces. Tomorrow we'll discuss about the curved surfaces. Curved surfaces पढ़ेंगे. फिर day after tomorrow the buoyancy and flotation then stability buoyancy and stability then uh, fluid in relative equilibrium so three more days are required for fluid static three more days are required for fluid static then two days for fluid kinematics two days for uh, fluid dynamics then application part laminar flow two days pipe flow two days all then all the chapter will be two two days will be required Hopefully it will be over by uh, next 15th or something, 15th or 20. Then it will be over by 15th or 20. Clear, eh? everyone? ठीक है सब लोग सॉल्व कर लिया. Shall I stop here, बेटा? अगर कुछ doubt है तो पूछ लो भी. You have five minutes. You have five minutes, you can ask whatever you want. Before you ask one information, I would like to share here. That is necessary. There are many questions. I have seen the questions. This is the question. This is question. This is the 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 question. तुमको आएगा मजा इस बात की है गारंटी। ओके। Now one more information I would like to share here. I would like to share one information that Vision Batch H, Vision Batch H is going to start from 22nd. Vision Batch H is going to start from 22nd. Who is going to start? None other than Shivam Dikshit. None other than Shivam Dikshit is going to start this batch from 22nd and uh, it is going to start from 8.15 p.m. Right? Every day class will be at 8.15, 8.15, 8.15. Now, what is the code? SHIVAM101. 
if you really want serious study right and uh, you have capability to pay if you don't have no problem you can continue with youtube right but if you have capability to play then i would suggest you to join i will suggest you to join and uh, sir why to use your code only every faculty have code because you will get personal guidance sir everyone is given personal guidance i will give you notes also sir everyone is giving notes also i will make a whatsapp group for a special whatsapp group for you everyone is making that you can call me also sir everyone is allowing this dekh lo bhai maine topper produce kiye sir sab ne topper produce kiye तो मैं अब क्या ही कर सकते हैं यूज करो जिसका करना है लेकिन तुम मेरा यूज करो यार ऐसे मत करो मेरे साथ मेरा जुकाम बहुत ज्यादा हो गया सो यू कैन टेक आइदर प्लस और आइकॉनिक इन प्लस टॉप एजुकेटेड डिजिटल नोट टेस्ट सीरीज एवरीथिंग यू विल गेट दिस थ्री एंड इन आइकॉनिक यू विल गेट सम एक्स्ट्रा फीचर्स आल्सो ठीक है now you have to use code shivam once it not only you your family member your neighbor your friend then you have to use this much this discount only and here you can see the prices you can see the prices clear hai tomorrow sharp 7 o'clock will start sharp 7 o'clock emi option is also available if you have no money for timing then you can use emi option one very very इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट गेट अकेडमी अन अकेडमी का मर्जर हुआ है अन अकेडमी बेसिकली परचेज द गेट अकेडमी सो वन गेमीफाइड स्कॉलरशिप इज देर ऑन बी ऑफ ऑफ दिस सिक्सटी मिनट टेस्ट इज देर फॉर ऑल द ब्रांचेस थर्टी करोड़ स्कॉलरशिप ओनली फॉर गेट थर्टी करोड़ का स्कॉलरशिप मिलेगा अब थर्टी करोड़ में कैसे कैसे डिवाइड होगा कुछ बच्चों को टॉप थ्री थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स का गेट 2023 के रजिस्ट्रेशन फी रिफंड हो जाएगा स्टूडेंट्स का कॉलेज कुछ बच्चों का कॉलेज फीस जो है वो रिफंड हो जाएगा कुछ बच्चों को मैकबुक मिलेगा कुछ बच्चों को आईफोन मिलेगा और कुछ को लैपटॉप मिलेगा कुछ को सैमसंग मोबाइल मिलेगा तो जिनको आईफोन मिलेगा वो हमको गिफ्ट कर देंगे ठीक है और जिनको मैकबुक मिलेगा वो भी मुझे गिफ्ट कर देंगे जिनको लैपटॉप मिलेगा और वो सैमसंग मोबाइल वो अपना रख लो ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेप्टेम्बर को है एलेवन ओ क्लॉक क्लियर है कुछ भी करना है अन अकेडमी में ये कोड मत भूलना आज मेरा तबीयत बहुत खराब है फिर भी मैंने सोचा तुम्हारा टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करता हूँ मैं ठीक है और फिर भी मैं आया हूँ शेल स्टॉप हियर जाऊ ठीक है If anyone wants to ask anything, you can ask, beta. If anyone wants to ask, ask anything, you can ask. Anyone wants to ask anything, you can ask. Shall we stop here? Okay, bye bye. bye bye take care we'll meet uh, in net tomorrow tomorrow 7 o'clock and okay okay one more thing one more thing one more thing listen here one more information don't don't forget to attend this class cq to concept through question basic thermodynamics lecture 1 is already done done today actually all right lecture 2 is tomorrow tomorrow timing is 9:30 to 10:30 9:30 to 10:30 don't forget to join this don't forget to join this you cannot skip this if you are skipping this if you are skipping this particular session means you are not serious about your studies you are not serious about your studies okay so let's meet tomorrow morning 9:30 am let's meet tomorrow morning 9:30 am bye 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 bye